and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second Arcane deck. This is going to be Arcane Bandle City. I'm expecting this one to be very good because we're just going to be playing the really good Bandle City core with Bandle City Mayor, Loping Telescope, Conchologist, Trinket Trade, right? All these cards that uh, can, you know, we can have uh, all the manifest cards. They'll all replace themselves, um, also be pretty high impact. We're going to have aloof travelers in here, which we all know how good aloof travelers is. Even with being a 2-3 body, that ability is still very good. And we'll have curious shell folk at the top end so that whenever we have this in play, then all those manifests will be creating more and more copies. So, you know, like really good stuff here. Um, you know, we'll still have Jinx and Vi because it is, uh, it's Arcane Knight. So, you know, it's not really a Jinx deck, not really a Vi deck, but it should just be a really good deck with both Jinx and Vi. We have Piltoverns on removal, including Aftershock to be able to destroy some landmarks if we need to, Mystic Shot. And then the other sp spicy one that we're playing here is Iterative Improvement. They can uh, just create more of these things. You know, having another Loping Telescope, Conchologist, these kind of cards is awesome. Get another Bandle City Mayor in here, make stuff cost less. Or what could happen is we could really aloof Traveler's people out of the game with this kind of deck because we're going to have our three aloof travelers three iterative improvements to copy aloof travelers and then we'll also have bandle city mayor and loping telescope that can create um, aloof travelers by manifesting so we can have even more and we could we could have even more if we have curious shell folk in play and then play like loping telescope and choose aloof travelers and we make two more yeah so that's going to be kind of like our late game plan is just really aloof travelers people out of the game all right, so let's see how it does. Arcane Bandle City. Gonna, probably going to be a very good deck, but not really too much of an arcane deck. Mostly a very good Bandle City deck. We'll see how it does. Okay, and we got Lurkers to start with. So Lurkers is the kind of matchup that we want to just keep on trading. I think we're just going to send this all back. We need to have early stuff. There we go. That looks better. Um, you know, both champions are okay, but they basically just trade one for one in this matchup and costing four and five mana. We need to make sure that we can um, at least have some earlier cards to play. Piltover and Zon's a great region with Conchologist because there are so many good hits in Piltover and Zon. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Hmm. These are all pretty good. Trixie, Trixie Tentacles is like the only one that definitely trades. One for one. Alright, so we know that card's Rek'Sai. So the 3-3 three, three can kind of hold back the 2-3, and now we have Mystic Shot for the 4-2. Or, you know, we could Aloof Travelers as well. Which I probably want to just Aloof Travelers and just get something out of their hand. Because, yeah, like, they just... Ooh, he got Death from below out of their hand. Wow. Because I was going to say, like, they just put something on top with that Xerxes Caller. Um, and now we mess up. You know, we mess that up with the Aloof Travelers. Aloof Travelers is busted. Wow, we got Death from Below out of their hand. Alright, so we know that middle card's Rek'Sai. Oh, they still hit. That's too bad. Alright, so you block there, you block there. And we take seven. Okay, I guess we... I mean, I'd rather have Loping Telescope, but I guess we maybe have to just take Protoporo because we want to cast Mystic Shant. But I guess next round... Like, are we going to be Metamorphing next round? Yeah, good good possibility that we are. I think we probably just have to take the Protoporo. I think we just need... 
we have tons of cards, we just need the cheapest cards we can have. Alright, so let's go ahead and make them discard probably Rek'Sai. Xerxes Caller. Ugh, I wanted them to discard the Rek'Sai, of course. That's not so bad. We'll shoot that. Shoot that. Not take any damage. We'll just pass the round. All right, Shell Folk. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Because now they can have like the six-one challenge, the, the Shell Folk, like where we don't get like the great block. I'm surprised they didn't play that and get that out of their hand. Let's just pass. I don't want to spend a mana on that. I want... Because we're going to have our... Mana for Mini Morph. Alright, that's great for us. We need to go block, block, block. We need more of that. That ended up working out very well. And now we get to double aloof travelers this next round. Hopefully hit Rek'Sai. Ooh, alright. I'll, I'll get that out of there too. That sounds good. Can always rely on you to keep us safe. Hmm. Not Rexai. Uh, yeah, let me telescope. The Arsenal. Aloof. Yay. But our stuff did it. We aloof everything. Oh, another pike got discarded. Another pike. Alright, so they have to hit Lurk here. So we we're gonna be minim mini morphing. Best case scenario would be mini morph the Doom Breaker and they miss more or miss Lurk, but that's not super likely, so I think that we need to just Take this thing out of play. We take eight damage. Eight overwhelm damage. From I guess maybe nine overwhelm damage, but. Oh, well that's great. So now we get you know a three health thing in front of there, so we only take seven. Well, that's awesome. We're gonna have to play Vi. Oh, well, maybe I should play the Xerxes Caller instead. Oh, we have another one. 
I'm doing this my way. Have to get a lot of health on one of these things to block. <laughs> block with one of these that has a lot of health. I don't need a plan. Um, so that thing says ten four. This thing says nine six. I don't. Why is this one? Why is this one more? I don't know. So I'm planning on this 2-7 to sit back and be able to block the 9-6 to help us stay alive. We should just be able to finish them out with burn spells. Doing this one first, so we put a Jinx back into the deck, so you know we just have that chance of drawing another Get Excited. We're doing it one at a time in case that was a Pokey Stick. All right. Win right there. That one was close. But man, aloof travelers really messed up my opponent's death from blows. So yeah, we really could do every region with Jinx and Vi, with Jinx and Vi being both Piltover. Um, but you know, just just focused on these three today, but you really could make a Jinx Vi deck of any other region. I don't know about this. Thresh and Viego sound super difficult. I have a very, very low win rate against Viego. I don't really know what Pokestick or Aftershock are going to do for us. We'll send them both back. Minimorph, good. It's a good hand if they don't kill my Bandle City Mayor. You guys So we can play like Mayor plus Owl Cat on three. Aloof plus Loping Telescope on four. I guess that's what. Uh, let's get another Aloof. We just want more Aloof. If that's what Pokestick could have done. Aloof's definitely got to be good in this matchup. Viego, Thresh, and the 7 drop have got to be their most expensive cards. We want to get rid of those things. The 7 drop being Hydrovine. So getting rid of that good. Make another Aloof Travelers. No. If you would get a Mana Gem, instead refill your spell mana. I don't, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm just going to take you. I, we already have two other 6s, though. It's just like, well, do I want Crescent Strike? Crescent Strike's like the only other card to take. Aloof. I dropped everything. Get rid of these Hydra Vines. No Hydra Vine for you. Maybe I should have just attacked first. Because <laughs> now attacking looks a lot worse than what it did just a little bit ago. I guess I should have just attacked out with everything first. The reason why it looks worse, of course, is because we don't we don't really want everything. Like, I want stuff to trade because I want to be able to play other things. But they... They want units to die for Thrash also. 
Yeah, Avatar or Tide Flesh Shell Folk. That could be crazy. I don't know what it's gonna do, but it could do something crazy. So that's one thing dead. They go like block block, and then it turns into four things dead. You're strange. I just need room. I need just I just need more room for activities. Yes, you. So that's five things dead. Man, I really want to mini morph that, but then they play Viego and I don't have many more for Viego. I guess if I don't mini morph it, it's just gonna be a Viego in just a minute anyway. We kind of have too many fives and sixes. <laughs> it's like our whole our whole hand is fives and sixes. Uh, and they they do have Viego. This requires my largest official hat. We made it, yay! But our stuff did it. Okay, made him discard a Viego. So Viego number two down. So two Hydra Vines and a Viego down so far. Thanks for clearing up the space. I was just going to replace that thing anyway. Oh, last Viego to gone. All right, so all we have to do is kill this Viego, and then they're out of Viegos. So we just need to draw our second Mini Morph. Come on, second Mini Morph. We're digging. Mini morph? Nope. We're digging. We're looking for that thing. is MVP. You dropped something. I dropped everything. All right, homecoming gone. Yeah, because like that's the thing. Like Vi is not going to actually be able to kill Viego. Like they like with Ionia and everything. Like they have so many good ways to protect Viego. Like that that that's not going to work. None, none of these cards really do anything, I guess, this thing. So it's seen 7 power die right now. Whenever this thing dies, it's going to be 10. Hello. 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 Killing that would make it 14. Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I guess I have too many cards in hand, don't I? I just don't even want to kill the other the other things. So I'll just get this card out of my hand. All we need to do is find one more mini morph and we win the game. But there's only one mini morph out of 22 cards. I wish I was playing three mini morphs. You know, we have all these five and six mana cards. Unfortunately, none of them. You know, we only had that one card, that one mini morph. If I would have known they would have had all their Viegos in hand, maybe I could have just let that Thresh go. But yes, okay. Well, that should just be game. Do I have to? Alright, we'll do some attacking. Are you? Okay, so no more Viegos ever. We've made them discard two with the Loof Travelers, and then that one gets mini morphed. So as far as I know, it's not possible for them to get another one. So now they have to kill us with Thresh and Hydra Vine. And we've we've already made them discard two Hydra Vines. So 
Looks like I'm ready. Bye bye. Like they can't rekindle her and bring like they can't bring back Viego with rekindler, for example. Like v yeah, rekindler can bring back Thresh. But right right now it doesn't, because you know There's nothing for it to do right now, but I'm just saying in the future. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, so. Alright, we're still gonna just play you. You don't necessarily do very much right now because I can't empty my hand. Alright. Shoot that. And then let's do some blocking. Just block. Block. Uh, block. Just kill me. And... Um... I don't want to take any damage at all. So I guess these things are gone. Thank you. Y'all did the job that you wanted to. So they, they should have, like, the switch spots card. So they could, like, switch spots. Maybe, like, I guess they could with, like, the 4-4 four four or something. But it still killed the 2-1. You'd block the 3-3 three three with the Shellfolk? That's true. We don't really need to protect it with the sand, so... Okay, there's the swamp. That still just kills that. Alright, then they go barrier, also. Yeah, that's a lot of mana. What do we have? Death Ray? Death Ray's our only way to kill that right away, but I don't... That means I have to draw more Death Rays, though. I don't really want to draw more Death Rays. Do I just want to take four? I'm worried about atrocity, right? Uh, Wait, do I need to be worried about atrocity? Probably not. Okay. I guess that's acceptable. Because the other thing is... We're going to be able to, like, prank their cards. Like, they have, like... I'm sure they have more of those Ionia cards, like those Deny and Barrier type cards. And we'll be able to do that. Okay, if you would... Uh, when you cast a spell, create a hand... And let them give it bleeding. Okay. Alright. I don't know what's going to happen here. But I'm, I want to try. I've, I've never cast a card. No, come on, opponent! Oh, so, like, we, we play the zero mana prank... And then we create a, a random three or less cost spell. You know, we, we play those pranks, you know, like we could create some awesome spells there. No. But yeah, I guess we did kind of aloof our opponent to death. Okay. I don't think we can ever beat a Rillian Soul, so that's why we have aloof travelers. So we want to find aloof. Y'all can go. Keep him Bandle City Mayor, because that creates aloof. This is why we are Arcane Bandle, because we are a Bandle deck that will just drive our opponent crazy. <laughs> like Jinx crazy. If it works. You best believe I don't play. We were forged in dragon fire. Alright, good play, opponent. Good play. Because now they have that thing that will uh, kill my Bandle City Mayor also. I need to take a loof, but I really want to just take the serpent and kill this 3 1 with the serpent. Oh. What do we do? What do we do? We're going to take a loof. Wow, not even scared of Pokey Sick? Or Mystic Shot? How do they always have Shivana? We are your people, Anna. Alright, well. Ours. Game over. What wondrous discoveries await below? Break them! Okay. Our stuff did it. 
Whoa, Sunburst. Was the most expensive card. Sunlight guide, my brethren. Wasn't really expecting that. I am more than I see. You are unlike anything I've ever seen. pretty crazy that we have like look at all these cards that we have in hand and everything and i am just going to be conceding here because we can't beat shivana i don't think kind of my only chance like my only thing to do which is not a good play at all but my only thing to do is to turn this into a jinxes get excited jinxes get excited to get rid of that um whatever it's called Suffer my fury. Spell shield, and then mini morph it later. But yeah, we have like that horrendous trade. This levels up. Like this is just. This is just terrible. Of course, a big problem is they could just have another Shivana. Um, we know that they just drew a champion with that Solari Priestess card. It's either Shivana or Aurelian Soul. Probably just like Mini Morph right here could just Aurelian Soul. So they this morning. looks like they're they, it seems like they've been holding on to fight spell like they thought about using fight spell at the end of the last round but now they'll just be able to fight spell this envious fox man shivan is a heck of a card <laughs> that card's crazy i should make a speech where's my speech pops in your hat i put it in your hat this morning all right it's made another aloof which can hopefully, hopefully that was a really soul they grabbed, and hopefully we can get rid of a really soul. Perfect. That was the exact card that I wanted to create for this Vox. So that went really well with those Bandle City Mayors. You know, one making a telescope that makes an Equinox, the other one making an Aloof that could maybe get rid of like an 11-11 really soul. So there are some things that are going right for us. Hopefully this just happens. They don't have a fight spell. Just let it happen. Okay, so yeah, they've been holding that fight spell. Oh, I guess I should play this owl cap. Kind of meant to. Just kind of clicked okay. Watch yourself, was another Shivana. Wow. Yeah. Alright, well, last game. We got rid of all of our opponents. Cool cards and everything like that. This game... Shivana just gets us. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Um, I mini morphed one Shivana and they had a second Shivana in hand. This would actually be a Good Trixie Tentacles matchup. But I think we need these.
Obviously, we're dead to this Dragon's Clutch. I was just going to finish this out. Yeah, that, that just finishes the game. Okay, so we lost. Dragons are pretty big. Shivana, super scary. So it can happen. Vandal City can lose. It can happen. So two and one. Of course, uh, all their things were, were going to get plus one, plus one, overwhelm all those dragons, and I couldn't survive that. All right, back to lurkers. I would much rather face lurkers. Much rather face anything but Shivana. Okay, so Vi's gone, and I don't play anything immediately here, but hopefully we draw something. Early. It's just a really good setup with Bandle City Mayor, Loop Travelers, as we've seen. Like that's just kind of the strength of our attack. Cool, cool. Alright, so now we'll definitely be playing the telescope on two, even though a lot of times you just want to save spell mana and then just like wait for telescope after the mayor. So you get to play for one, but in an aggressive matchup where you have to block. I was going to say you have to play it, but actually now we got the commando. We'll do that. Alright, commando, you did your job. It's too bad you're not long for this world, but you did your job. Next round's gonna be ridiculous for us. This round is great for them. Their deck looks good right now. I don't know why they didn't challenge that somewhere else, but next round it's gonna start getting silly with double Bandle City Mayor, double Lobing Telescope. Loof Travelers. Oh, wow. Yeah, Death from Below is also a problem. I was thinking, you know, I was kind of thinking they wouldn't, weren't going to have any removal right there, but I guess Death from Below is a problem. Uh, now these cards are any good. I guess this thing. Makes things a little worse. Like the one way to lose this matchup is early death from below. It's not a three, aka dead. Shall we bully off? Just have to block. So that went really, really poorly for me with them having that, that Death From Below, because if they don't have that, then we get to play this other Loping Telescope, which means we get to block with those, which means we don't have to block with the mayors. Our mayors still get to stay out here, you know, right? Like, everything is much, much better for us if they just don't have uh, that Death From Below. Six. Oh, I was hoping that would maybe be a little bit lower. Thinking that maybe we could get this thing down by the time, you know, by the time we actually play it. What wondrous discoveries await below. Uh, 
So if they have, you know, another pike in hand and have a bone skewer, we're dead. But we gotta try. Gotta hope. There's always hope. Just resolve. Resolve. Do nothing. Awesome. We can handle an open attack with having the death ray for the 4 1. Block, block. A couple other things. Can't really handle overwhelm. We have to mini morph overwhelm. Hey, lose my aloof travelers. We're sitting here with this iterative improvement. But we can't really afford to take any damage at all. Eventually, this purple fish will start costing less. Oh, I need to play something. I always forget about like the two mana open a, the two mana card that just attacks. Oh, another overwhelm. So that probably means a Rexion hand. Which, that's really bad for me. Vi stands for violence. Scared? I don't blame you. Oh, it's Pike? It's Death from Below? Well, then we lose. Yeah, it's Death from Below, then we lose. Yeah, I mean, that's just game over. Just, just wipes the board. All right, two and two. I'll let you off easy this time. They got pretty fortunate with all those death from blows. Okay, so now we're facing Ezreal Vi. So basically, facing the mirror match. We're we just have Jinx in our deck for you know for fun. So we're a Jinx Vi deck, but you know, basically mirror match here. So I'm not actually playing Otter Puss. You know, like that that card didn't make the final cut. Mama's home. I'm perfectly fine not playing that card. The Bandle Commandos have looked quite good. I've been very happy with them. Yeah, he's at. Yeah, I don't expect. Uh, yeah, would would not expect any nerf to. Um, uh, death from below. No, I wouldn't expect it. Alright, it's a good start for them so far. I'm sure they're looking for removal for the mayor. I don't think they're going to kill the mayor right now. I could probably play the sloping telescope. 
also. Okay, that was not a very good loping telescope. I was going to feel bad if now if they go to kill the mayor. Because I wanted to keep iterative improvement available to be able to copy it. So we can always copy the loop travelers, though. So I think that they're... Yeah, they're just going to pass. Get rid of a shell folk. Oh, a glorious evolution. Well, that's good. That protects shell folk. Yeah, that was really good for them. Yeah. Well, that hurts. Yep, got a mirror match, but they got shell folk in play. So that's. That's going to be tough for us to, to beat. This is just probably over, right? Because <clears throat> all the like shell folk with all these pranks, they're just gonna copy everything in my hand. I imagine this is over. Yeah, my right. My plan was to make them discard their shell folk because you know that's that's what I just you know thought that that was gonna be like the one card that beats us a shell folk, but they had an anti shell folk card in their hand. That was weird. It felt weird that they took, they chose the Vandal Commando and not another Shell Folk. But... The only good thing is that they are going to have too many cards in hand. But the bad thing, of course, is that all my stuff is going to cost a million mana. Conchologists. No, I can't cast Trinket Trade. Unfortunately, I'm like the perfect deck for them to play against, you know, with all these pranks, I'm the, I'm the perfect deck to play because then, like, all of my cards are amazing, so now they just get to make all of my cards, which are amazing. Wondrous discoveries await below. The good news is every single card they play replaces itself. I guess that one doesn't. <laughs> you know, basically every card replaces itself. Doesn't say they can't draw a card, but I guess now they will be able to. Make a zero cost trinket trade? They did. How does that happen? I whenever did they change that? Because whenever I've done this before, you you know like you're making this cost more like you'd make like a you know, you'd take this cost and reduce it by one, not just the original cost and reduce it by one. How did that happen? So make them discard two. You know, when you have a full hand, when you get a loot with a full hand, you have to discard two. You have to discard the the card that you're supposed to draw because your hand is full, and then you discard your top card. So, 
That's why I wanted to do that, make them discard two. Yeah, thankfully we made them discard a Glorious Evolution. So we made them discard one. So I don't know how many Glorious Evolutions they're playing, but we made them discard one. Yeah, so they were going super big, right? Because, yeah, they were playing Mirror Mage and Glorious Evolution. Like, they're going... And Shell Folk. They're going really, really big. Alright, good, good, good. So they got ten cards in hand again. Tentacles off the spectacles, please. I dropped everything. Ha! <laughs> All right, so there goes their second mini morph, their second shell folk. That was pretty good, getting rid of both of those with one card. I should look in the mirror more often. Yep, we still got it. I don't know why they're replacing stuff, but I'm a fan of that. Yeah, like, what? I don't know what they're doing replacing stuff. They could just be attacking first. So, like, I'm just getting... They're just giving me good value here. Alright, so that card's gonna be a problem eventually. Or pretty soon. Yeah, that card's gonna be a problem. Oh, I had too many cards in hand? No, and the Loof Travelers is so good. I thought I had nine. I thought I had nine. I miscounted. Oh, man. Oh, I miscounted. That's that's really bad. So Loof Travelers is like my best card, too. That's, that's really bad. I can't believe that happened. Yeah, that broke my heart also. With, for how... Yeah. For how our whole deck's aloof travelers, and that it had to have been exactly aloof travelers on top. That that is heartbreaking. Huh. Yeah, that that really was heartbreaking. I need to leave some manifest for this curious shell folk, don't I? Hey, Palmer. Man, I feel terrible about that. Oh, what am I, what am I doing? This is the problem with having your camera right in the screen, in the middle of the screen, right? Because I I couldn't see that mana cost, and I just kind of you know thought it was still four, and then I made it I was gonna make it three.
yeah, this game's been been very poorly played by me. Like at least the last few, the last couple of rounds, we were doing good for a while. But the last couple of rounds, I just really messed up multiple times. The aloof travelers thing was just heartbreaking, and now hard to get over that kind of mistake. That was a terrible game. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, so a lot of things went really wrong for me in that game. Um, you know, that's that's how it's going to be, though. You know, I had millions of decisions to make. My opponent had millions of decisions to make, and they ended up making some better decisions than I did. And that's that's how it's you know that's how that kind of matchup's going to be. You know, that's a skill testing matchup. You know, the better. The person that makes the better decisions is going to win that matchup because that's every single card in this deck and every single card in their deck is just like, you know, make a lot of decisions basically. Uh, but can't win them all, I guess. Can't win them all. Um, they, you know, dominated with Shellfolk. They were able to play Shellfolk on round six. Um, the round five passing really ended up looking pretty bad. Um, I thought that I was going to be able to aloof travelers and just get rid of their Shellfolk. I really wasn't expecting Mirror Mage and Glorious Evolution. I wasn't. Uh, with their deck. I was thinking that Shellfolk was going to be the top end, but anyway, um, still a good deck to play here. You know, I, the deck's better than two and three, <laughs> but, uh, we ran into a really hot Shivana hand and a death from below, you know, some lucky death from below stuff. And then, you know, we got, we lost the mirror match. So I would be pretty confident, you know, the, like this this deck's really good. I'd be very confident going three and two or four and one consistently with the deck, but in any five game sample size, you can get the, these two and threes. Aloof Travelers looked great, you know, like this. That's what our deck was was just Aloof Travelers dot deck with iterative improvement, telescope, Bandle City Mayor, Aloof Travelers. That was really just the strength of the deck. The Jinx and the Vi don't really matter in here. It didn't really look like, um, you know, like you could just like play more things to copy more Aloof Travelers, get another mini morph in here. All that kind of stuff, but uh, you know that's we're playing arcane decks, so just showing that Jinx and Vi can work with Bandle City because really any champions can work with Bandle City. You could play you could put any champions in the game in this style of deck, and you're still gonna have a good deck because the champions just don't really matter, and that's just speaks to the power. And we saw that with with what our opponent was doing that last game too. It just speaks to the ridiculous power of Manifest and of Bandle City that your champions just don't matter because these other cards are just that good. Anyway, that's going to be it though for uh, Arcane Bandle City. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. And if you give the deck a try yourself, let me know how it goes for you. Or, you know, if you got other ideas for other Arcane decks or anything like that, or just, you know, how you like in the, you know, if you're, uh, see the show before this or anything like that, just uh, feel free to leave those comments. They help out the channel. But that's going to be it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you for the next video.